Today I want to show you how to do the vortex. This is done on a spinning pole, hence the name vortex. Just kidding, I don't know why it's called vortex, other than it kind of looks like a whirling dervish kind of thing going on. So climb it up. Um, I like to sit. That kind of makes it easy. Um, but here's the thing. Remember when you sit that with um, the vortex, the uh, leg in back is also the leg that's on top. That's the hip that's on top. So once you sit, go ahead and lean it all the way. Hook your elbow like so. And then either raise it up or allow yourself to sink down. And spin. As you may have noticed, I needed to help myself along with the ceiling. That's because a tension mounted pole is always going to spin slower than a permanent mounted pole. The reason for this is because there's no tension on a permanent mounted pole, whereas the tension creates a little bit of drag. Okay, other side. Again, you're going to have a seat. So remember that the top leg is also the back leg when you have your seat. Hook. And when you're done, re-grab. Unwind, and then you can sit, take it into whatever you want to. Okay? One other thing I wanted to point out is that it doesn't seem to matter which direction you go. You can go backwards or forwards, and it's still the same move. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe it's not the same move. Maybe going one direction is one move, and the other direction is the other move, but I don't really think so. So here it is. Both hanging out the left and the right, and um, I'm going to go counterclockwise for both, okay? Because really it doesn't matter. Um, the first move is the same, you sit on the pole. It's just a matter of deciding which side you're going to go to. So going again counterclockwise, but using the other arm. 